I guess the 10-second rule doesn't apply to this one. Fox Carolina reports that the assistant manager of a Burger King in Union, South Carolina was arrested after she served dirty fries to customers. According to police, officers were called to the restaurant in reference to a disturbance. Once on scene, officers heard two women arguing with the staff, making threats and using profanity. Police said an officer asked the woman to calm down, but they were still being loud and boisterous. The officer then arrested the women on disorderly conduct charges. Two days later, police received a complaint from headquarters with accusations being made that fries were thrown into a trash can and then served to customers. Officers said 39-year-old Jamie Christine Major took fries from the trash and put them in the fry dump where freshly cooked fries were placed on top. Major was then arrested and charged with malicious tampering with human food. If convicted, the charge carries a sentence of up to 20 years in prison. So much for a quick getaway. The Miami New Times reports that a would-be robber who handed a bank teller a note asking for money got tricked into sitting in the lobby to wait for the cash due to supposed computer issues, giving law enforcement time to arrive on the scene. 77-year-old James Timothy Kelly walked into a PNC Bank branch in Hollywood, Florida and handed a teller a note that said, Give me the money. In fear, the victim bank teller pretended not to see the note and handed back a withdrawal slip to Kelly. Kelly then stated, I'm not here for that. I am here to rob you, the FBI alleges. In response, the teller pretended she was having computer issues and asked Kelly to take a seat, at which point the defendant obliged and sat down nearby, the bureau says. Officers received an alert in connection with the incident and rushed to the scene where they found Kelly patiently sitting in the lobby. Kelly faces a maximum 20-year sentence on an attempted bank robbery charge. I mean, where are we as a society when people that are 77 years old have to continue working? They haven't saved up enough for retirement over their long lives doing what they love. In this case, James was a bank robber. A Greek priest was arrested on the island of Rhodes for allegedly tricking a tourist into pulling his trousers down so he could anoint his genitals with holy oil, according to the Daily Mail. The 49-year-old Orthodox priest was accused of insulting the sexual dignity of a 30-year-old Estonian man who was on holiday on the popular tourist island. The tourist is said to have visited the monastery on the southern part of the island the day before with his girlfriend. He said he bought a cross from the church, but later forgot to take it with him. The priest then texted him to say he had found it, the Demokratiki newspaper reports. When the man returned early the next day to retrieve it, the priest is said to have taken him to a small reception room, telling him it was in order to give him a special gift. The cleric is said to have then asked the man to pull down his pants and underwear so he could anoint him. It is at this point that he then allegedly massaged the oil onto the man's private parts. Reflecting on the ordeal later in the day, the man decided to report it to the police. The case is now with the island's criminal prosecutor. Okay, the anointing part is obviously wild, but another part that I think that was just glossed over is the priest had the guy's number and texted him, basically being like, Ayo, you up? Cruise ship passengers were shocked when the luxury vessel they were riding on decided to dock at a European island where locals just happened to be butchering wild dolphins at the time. Yahoo News Australia reports that the water turned blood red after 78 long-finned pilot whales were slaughtered close to shore by groups of men in the Faroe Islands, which is part of the Kingdom of Denmark. Meanwhile, the luxury vessel called Ambition sat docked just feet away. The whale hunt, also known as Faro Serrintatrap, is a practice dating back to the 9th century, and many Faroe Islanders consider eating whales to be an important part of their history. Each year, an average of around 700 long-finned pilot whales and several hundred Atlantic white-sided dolphins are caught over the course of the hunt season during the summer. British cruise ship operator Ambassador Cruise Line 
apologized on social media for the poor choice of docking site, calling the Faro se Grinta drop a distressing occurrence. How do you think they decide the order of how the dolphins are killed? Is it just like a simple Dutch Dutch goose or? If you want to see all our videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid, or weird, click the subscribe button below. I mean, hey, my cat's gotta eat.